All right, so here we've got uh, another problem. And it's saying 18 grams of KClO3 is decomposed according to the following equation. What is the mass of oxygen? So it's going to be in grams of O2. So let's get started. So start with what I know and put it over one. I give myself a lot of space because it's going to be a long problem. 18 grams of KClO3. O3, and I'm put it over 1. All right. I'm always going to have to, get to convert things to moles first. Now, I'm at, I got grams of KClO3 on the top here. And so I'm going to have grams of KClO3 on the bottom over here. This means I'm going to have to find a number for that. But first, I know it's going to be 1 mole. So how many grams are in 1 mole of KClO3? Oh, well, for that, I'm going to need my periodic table. So, my periodic table looking at K is 39.09. I'm going to round that to 39 for the sake of time. So, K, I got one of them times 39 CCL. Looking at my periodic table, I've got 35.45. Oops. 35.45, and I've got one of them, and O, I've got three of them, and using my periodic table, I can see that O is 16. So I'll slide that over again, 3 times 16, all right, so 39 plus 39 plus 35.45 plus 16 times 3. What is 16 times 3? Uh, 16 times 3 is 48. All right, so let's add all those up. 48 plus plus 35.45 plus 39 equals 122.45, 122.45, so I know the number going here is 122.45, cool, great, I know I'm doing it right because grams KCLs cancer to grams KCLO3, I got moles KCLO3 here, so I'm going to put mole KCLO3 on the bottom, All right, this is where I'm converting it into my other, into my reactant. So I'm going to have to have moles of oxygen on the top. And a number. This part's pretty easy. Okay. What number did I put here? Well, 3 for my chemical formula. And what number is in front of KCl3? I've got a 2. So I'm going to put a 2 here. All right, I'll know I'm doing it correctly because I'm in moles, canceling with moles on this side. So right now I'm in moles of oxygen, but that's not what I need. I need grams of oxygen. So i got one more step to do. i got moles of oxygen on the top on this side. So I'm going to have moles of oxygen on the bottom on this side for one mole. And then O2, using my periodic table, i got oxygen. This time I have two of them times 16, so that is 32. Great. Moles cancel out. Moles cancel out. And now it's almost ready. I'm going to get my top number here. I'm in the unit that I want. So when I do all this math, I should get my final answer. So it's going to be 18. 18 times 1 times 3 times 32, 1,728, so that's going to be my top number. My bottom number is going to be um, 121 times 122.45 times 2, 2 is right there, times 1. 
So 244 that night. I'm just going to do the top divided by the bottom. That's going to be 1728 divided by 244.9 is giving me my answer in grams of oxygen. 7.0, went around that to 6, 7.06 grams of oxygen. So get this out of the way. Uh, 7.06 grams of O2. Final answer.